Hello everyone, how's it going? So today we are going to develop a face mask detection using OpenCV, Keras, very little machine learning. So let me show you one of the outputs. So this was on a video file and I found this video on YouTube. It was from a series where they were trying to test different masks and see how the algorithm functions. So it first detects the face of the person and then identifies whether or not they're wearing a mask so we'll see how we can run this program and right now in the description you'll have a collab link which will allow you to open this page and then run it along with me so you can see that it's able to detect the face and not so i'll show you a few outputs so you can see the outputs of the face mask detection and this is how it'll come out to be so I'll quickly run through the code with you and let me show you how we're doing this. So before we run into the code, let me give you the, the credit to the right person. So there is this blog and it's by the gentleman by the name Mujtaba Hassan. I'll leave the link in the description. So Hussein Mujtaba, I'm sorry. So he developed the system and he already had a trained weights file using some mask and non-mask images and he has already provided on his blog right here. So I downloaded the weights file that he has already trained and that weight file is pretty much able to detect everything. And uh, he even in fact went ahead and trained another set of data set where it's even able to go to the extent of identifying whether or not the person is wearing a mask, but if not just wearing a mask, whether or not they're wearing the mask properly. So the, he has the weight file. I'm just using the weight file from that program. And then you're part of making a few changes to the code so that we can display it on Google Colab. So here is the input and this is how the code looks like. And we're just basically cloning the repository right here. And uh, this repository has all the files that we need for this project. And we're just cloning it and you can see the folder right here. It'll create this folder called face mask detection and it'll bring in all the files that we need. We need the hard cascades and we need mask recognition.h5. So these are the two important files. Now I'll explain what that is in a minute. So if it's uh, if you're new to the channel and if it's something that is helping you and you do want to look into this in the future and look into more projects, so do consider subscribing and right now what we're doing is this project first uses a face detector and we are using the basic a very basic the most simplest face detector which is called as the har cascade it's one of the most oldest face detector for applications and uh, what it does is it detects the face uh, in a matter of few seconds it's one of the fastest face detection it's not the best in accuracy but the fastest uh, face detector once the face is detected, then it uses this model file, which was trained on Keras TensorFlow. And we're just using that weights file, which has the information about all these mask and non-mask images. And we're just going to be using that to detect it on, on our new face. So the first step is to convert the file into a grayscale image and then use our cascade classifier, which is the hard cascade, to detect these faces in the images. So it can detect multiple faces in the same frame. Once the images are identified, then you send it out to the mask detector application. So it does some pre-processing so we can bring the images to the, the, to the basic process where the original person, the uh, the gentleman who had trained, so the way he had pre-processed, so it brings it to that level so that our image matches to his project criteria, and then we process we send that image to a predictor file which uses the weights file which right here to detect whether or not the person had the face or not. Once the face is detected, it's as simple as labeling the file, whether or not the person has the mask or no mask. And it also gives you that percentage of accuracy. So whatever accuracy it, it believes that the mask is there. 
So uh, this is a function that we uh, created. We calling this function is called as def face mask detector. So that way we can use this same function on multiple images or even video files, including your webcam. And I'll show you how you can do that. So once you have the function created, then we can write the simple three line code. One is to read the image. The other is to detect using the face mask detector. And third is to display the output here in Colab. So you, you'll, you'll notice we are using CV2 underscore IM show. And this is something which Google Colab has provided. The originally OpenCV has a function called cv2.imshow, which unfortunately does not work with Google Colab. So we are using cv2 underscore imshow, which allows us to display the image here in Google Colab. But uh, of course, if you're trying to run this program on your desktop, you will have to change that code a little bit. So this is the next image where we, I'm just changing the file names and it's able to display all these images for us. And once the images are done, once we know how we can do the images, we can do the same thing for video files as well. And this is the function that is written to do video files. So we're just reading the video file. We're defining an output video file by the name output.avi. And we're just running through the all the frames in the video file. So it opens up the video file, reads through every frame in the video, and then sends it to our face mask detector to get the output. Once the output is done, we're just writing it down here in the video file. Out.write creates that video file. And once everything is done, we're just releasing it and we have the video file ready. Once you're done everything, once you're done, you'll see an output.avi file generated here in this folder. So let me show you how it should come out. It'll take a few seconds, but let's, uh, that way you'll get to know how the output is gonna be displayed and how we can extract it. Now, how would you do it if you wanted to do it in, in real time using your webcam? So we have this pro, we have this function which is able to generate from a video file and we use this function called video capture and we give the file name. But if you were to do something with your webcam, just remove this file name inside the brackets and replace it by a zero. So zero defines that you're doing it for a webcam and it will start instead of reading it from the video file it will read from your webcam and do the processing for you i'll rechange it back again so that people don't get confused but if you are interested in doing it through your webcam just change that uh, video.mp4 with the, and remove the bracket uh, remove the colons you know, the, and then just put down the zero and it will take care for you so you can see that the output.avi file is already generated just click here and download and you'll get the output of the file and that's the same output that i used for this project and right here and i'll, I'll also I'll leave the link for the original video from where i got this so you know how this is working so this is how the project is done and we're done with the project. We come to the conclusion. If it's something that has helped you, do consider subscribing and let me know if you have any other projects or if you have any other um, issues going on in this project or any other computer vision projects. Do go ahead and leave a comment and I'll be happy to help you with that. So with that, take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.